I don't know the name of this lake. Or all I know is I'm in bear country. This tent, you can get a padded floor that goes with it. And you'll see here, the legs just pop right in. And it's kind of like they just kind of stick in there. Oh, he's not coming out. That's good there. So this is bear scat right here, but it's dried up and old. Like it's really old. Maybe earlier this summer. Lots of little bugs in there that are going to town on it. But you can see right by my tent. This dragonfly is eating this horsefly. Grabbed him out of the air, brought him over to my tent, and now he's having lunch. He's already eaten the head off of it. Can't say I've ever seen this before in my life. The bugs are crazy around here. Like, can you guys hear that? They are circling me like mad. They're leaving me alone for the most part, but they're just all around me. Look, we back home we call them stouts. I don't, I don't know why we call them stouts, but that's what we call them. And uh, they're like horse flies or whatever. They're pretty big, right? They're like the size of a bee. And um, they will take a chunk out of you if they land on you and they want to bite. For the most part, they leave me alone. Um, and I find when I do go to a place, they normally just like take off after a while. But today they are just relentless. They are not backing down. I've been here for a couple of hours. I'm just kind of sitting back now, trying to enjoy myself. But these flies mean business. Like, listen to this. It's, it's mad. Right on. Good.
have a smoked meat sandwich tonight for supper with mustard for sure and I think I'll grab some saporichiba that'll be my supper for now This summer has been incredible. Um, for the last four or five weeks, maybe five, yeah, five weeks I'd say, we've had maybe two to three days of rain and, and I'm talking like showers, just showers. And um, so there's been a fire ban forever. And the fire ban has lifted in certain areas, but where I am right now, uh, there's a fire ban in place. So I've never been here before. And I was driving down the highway and just like looking for somewhere I could pull off. And there was this dirt road and this is where it ends. It's really weird. It's like there's a road that was built to come to nothing. <sighs> okay, that's not bad. I will sleep better with that electric bear fence around me because I don't have a rifle. I do have bear spray. I have the bear spray on me and uh, that does give me peace of mind, but bear fence is probably the way to do it. I wish my brother was here right now. He could read the instructions for me and I could just set it up. It would be great. This ground is so hard. I can't get the fourth um, post in. I just can't get it in. I've tried everywhere. I don't know what to do. I really need to be able to get in the fourth. So, I think I figured it out. Now what I'm gonna do, I've got this spike and it's deep and I was able to get it in there, it's nice and deep. And so, what I'm gonna do on an angle, it should work. Yeah, it should. So now, this is all it is, 2D batteries, which is crazy to think. You can see there's like a little clamp there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp this. It's making me nervous a little bit. Right there. And then what I have to do is ground it like that. I'm good to go. All I need to do is turn it on underneath little switch and then I've got power going through this whole thing. This fence is electric at that point and it's crazy to think that it's just a couple of D cell batteries and these can feed this fence for five weeks. That's pretty incredible. I don't know how it works. It's the magic of science I guess but yeah I feel pretty good. There's some tape here as you can see and so I guess what happens is the bears will come and they'll be curious about the tape They'll sniff it and then zap. They get a little, uh, 
a little, a little zap. You know, I'm in a bear tent in bear country with a bear fence and I feel pretty darn good tonight. Tell you, RBM thinks of everything. They really do. Got this great little pouch here. It's just, it can hold anything I want. It's really nice. I can have water in here. So good. I got this camping pillow too. It's pretty neat because it's got straps that can strap in around. I think that's what it does. I mean, I'm not, I don't need it to. And it's pretty cool. It's like every idea in the book, these guys think of it. Look at that. Yes. RBM has this really cool light and a fan that they sent me. And I just love it. And right now I'm just gonna use the light. And you can see how cool is that. That's gonna be so good in the winter time. Yes. So it's got three settings as you can see. And that is a perfect, nice ambient light. Just enough, just to brighten things up just a little bit here in the tent. Okay, it's on. I guess. <laughs> I thought maybe I could hear something. I'm not gonna touch it. Oh. I hope it's working. Anyway, this has been a really lovely evening. That sandwich I had tonight for supper was amazing. And uh, now I'm just kind of relaxing. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. And there's, the birds are going. The birds are pretty busy out there. But aside from that, it's just, it's just me. Middle of nowhere. Get him, nope. Oh, where is he? <laughs> so when I opened up the door and brought in everything last night, I let in a lot of mosquitoes and they just followed me in. And so they've been hiding in corners all night and then they come out and then they they go for me. Like that guy there. So I didn't get too much sleep because I had I actually used this little mosquito hood that goes with my mosquito jacket and I just put it over my head oh, where is he where is he he's somewhere did I get him and that worked well <laughs> I know I'm distracted but yeah that little hood thing worked well but it doesn't stop the sound so yeah mosquitoes aren't biting me but like it's annoying like it's an annoying sound right and so imagine it's happening all night long because you let in a ton of mosquitoes so i got up and i had a good swat session there this morning at around six in the morning and then i turned on my little fan so that light doubles as a fan the light that i showed you last night and once I had that fan blowing on me, it's like it blew them away from my face quite a bit. And I was able to get a little more sleep. Oh yeah, that's good.
I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna tear this down and I'm gonna get in my truck and I'm gonna go home and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to that drive and uh, yeah that'll be it for this video and if you liked it please hit like and uh, if you're thinking about subscribing and, and you want to see more videos like this uh, yeah hit subscribe that'd be great anyway that's it from here thanks so much for watching I'll be back really soon